hello my dear brother and sister welcome back once again uh, in previous video we had learned about the angle and the types of angle how to measure the angles and everything we learned about the angles so uh, now we are ready to learn uh, some basic uh, some basic shapes in geometry right so today we will be learning the first basic shape in geometry that is called triangle okay triangle from the name itself i think you can catch what does it want to say tri means three and angle means corner so such a geometrical shape which has three corners is called triangle right so to make you more understandable let me give you a simple example yes this is a figure right this is a shape geometrical shape here it has three corners right suppose uh, uh, let me give the name all right suppose this is a this is b and this is c so here is a line segment a b and here is another line segment b c so this a b line segment and b c line segments intersects and forms a corner this corner uh, let me name this is first one corner okay and here line segment a b right this line segment a b and another line segment a c makes another corner right so let me name this corner as corner 2 right and another uh, line segment is here line segment BC and line segment AC makes another corner right this corner is called uh, is the third corner right so how many corners we do have now we have first corner second corner and third corner so we get the three corners and since we have the three corners we should have of course three sides also right these these are the three sides we generally we generally see this a b right this is a line segment but now in triangle we see them as a side okay or edges also people say edges you can say edges also whatever this is our first side and this is our second side right side two i'm writing here side one and this is my side three so b c is my third side so from here we can say that if we have the three corners and three sides and forms a closed figure a closed shape then that's called a triangle right then that's triangle that's our triangle and uh, you know uh, I'm telling you once again the figure should be closed you know it should be closed figure we have the three corners but it's not closed then I can't say that's a that's a triangle right suppose I have a, I have a figure something like suppose this is my first line segment this is my second line segment right so I got my first corner here right over there I got first corner and uh, suppose I got here uh, my second corner this is my second corner and see here here I got the third corner so here all together I got three corners right this is my first corner and then second corner and the third corner right I got one two three three corners but this this figure is not closed right here the figure is not closed the shape is not closed here is open here right so that's why this is not a triangle and another uh, demerit is also it has you know it has four line segment see one first line segment second line segment third line segment and fourth line segment so fourth line segment we can't see this is a triangle so there must be three corner right and three line segments making sides right with that we say sides three corners and three sides and the figure should be closed you if you use the three uh, if you get three corners by the three sides then the figure must be closed right then only you'll get the three corners so we can say such a figure having three corners and three sides is a triangle and you know any object which has the shape like the triangle are known as triangular shape triangular triangular shape right triangular means looks like triangle triangular means which looks like triangle uh, which looks like triangle okay so uh, I, i'm gonna give you a few examples of the triangle uh, and triangular objects see here here i have a house whose shape is you know exactly like a triangle see exactly like a triangle now this is going to form a triangle so i can say that this uh this this figure is a uh, this this house is triangular now I can say this is this is triangular house 
so yummy cake here right this is also triangular in shape yeah this is my first side this is my second side and this is my third side so here I got all the corners and all the side this is my first corner and this is my second corner and this is my third corner so I got three corners or you can say three angles and uh, the three sides first side second side and the third side all together I got three corner three corner three side corner you can say angles also or some people even say this is as a vertex I forgot to tell you over here here in this this these are the angles you know I say these are the corner some people say corner some people say angle right and even some people say vertex vertex so three corners or vertex you can say three vertices now vertex the plural of the vertex is vertices and the three sides three corners or three vertex and the three sides right so these are the main basic things or basic uh, basic requirements for uh, for a shape to be a triangle right in geometry so I think you understand what is triangular shape and uh, what is triangle uh, right now I want to tell you something more about the triangle here okay uh, actually uh, you have already heard this triangle uh, triangle word many times um, suppose I have another triangle let me draw one triangle over here suppose I have this triangle okay and I hope you know how to measure the angles right so this is my first angle suppose angle one this is my second angle third angle ah uh, well if I'll measure with uh, this this angles each and every angles with a protector I may get this 60 degree 40 degree 50 degrees 70 degrees whatever I can get I don't know right let me suppose um, I got apple the measure of this angle is apple and measure of this uh, angle is suppose orange and measure of this uh, angle in degree I'm talking right apple degree you can say or orange degree uh, you can say here yeah, papaya right papaya then the sum of these all angles right sum of the apple degree and then orange degree and then papaya degree this all will form 180 degree this is the must condition you just check out with drawing any triangle you draw and then check out with the protector just uh, measure the angles or each and every angles you'll find 180 degree okay friends uh, you might get confused with this apple orange or papaya let me draw another figure that uh, make you more sense suppose this is my another triangle and uh, suppose this angle is um, I'm, I'm measuring this angle and uh, of course if you measure such kinds of angle you'll get 90 degree with the protector and uh, here another I'm doing with the pink color and here is one more angle let me do with the yellow color and if you place this all angle right suppose this is my first right this is my second and this is my third angle or three three corners how much corner it is let me draw one by one first let me do the pink one right this pink one I'm doing here it is some something like this it is it is it was pointing towards this right so exactly I'm trying to draw like that so this is my pink corner this much corner pink is making this angle is making right and after that let me do this uh, this part right this 90 degree part uh, it is like a like a square it is let me try to draw as it is so this part I draw now fine it is a little bit bigger but try to understand all right and this is my third one right the third angle which is with the yellow color and if I'll place this it will be something like this right so these all are the these all are the you know corners that they have made or you can say angles the sides had made and now what exactly I want to say here that this is the pink one and the white one and the yellow one these all are the corners and if you connect those all means what we had done actually we had summed this all right this is my first angle this is my second angle and this is my third angle if you sum all the internal angles of the triangles right these are called internal angles these are called internal angles angle means angles inside the triangle is called internal angles if you sum these all internal angles you'll get a straight line and what we have learned my dear friend in a straight line we form 180 degree means from here what we can say that the sum of the internal angles of the triangles is 180 degree means uh, if it is suppose if it is 90 degree if uh, suppose this is 30 degree then this must be 60 degree means altogether 90 degree plus 30 degree right plus 60 degree they must make 180 degree I mean to say sum should be 180 degree at any cost right that actually I was showing I was summing here right 
uh, because uh, I'm unable to measure uh, here with my hand what is exactly how much it is. Uh, this is suppose 30 degree, this is 60 degree, then this is 90 degree, then it, it, it should form 180 degree. If you sum all the internal angles of the triangles of any one, if you sum here also, you'll get, uh, uh, if you sum this one, this one, and this one all together, again you'll get 180 degree. Okay, anywhere, any types of the triangle you choose, any types of the triangle, right, every time you will get the sum of those internal angles one two three these are the names of the triangles then these are called you know these are uh, these are these this sum will be 180 degree that's it right and uh, recently I, I told you here internal angles so what is internal angles and external angles let me tell you once more time here uh, suppose uh, this is my triangle this is my triangle then uh, there you will see of course three angles right this is one angle second angle and the third angle right so these angles these these are the internal angles you know these angles these angles and these are the in internal angles these are called internal angle internal because the angles are inside the triangle internal angle okay and angles outside the triangle this part I'm talking right I'm doing with the yellow color this this is called outside angle or external angle outside angle sometimes people say it as a external angle also external angle okay so external angle and internal angle right this external angle and this internal angles together makes if you again makes a straight line and that will be 180 degree right so one external angle right this is another external angle this is another external angle so all together how many we have we have three external angle three external angle e x t e r n a l external angle three uh, you can say internal angle three internal angle and three sides three sides or you can say line segment these are line segments right line segment this makes a triangle this all makes a triangle right triangle sometimes we also denote by like this so uh, one more thing I want to tell you here if I uh, if I have a triangle like uh, like this right you know uh, suppose this is uh, angle A this is angle B this is angle C or you can see the vertex ABC then we represent this uh, when we write like this triangle we, we give this shape and then we say A B C this is called triangle ABC this is the representation of the triangle just make a small triangle here and then write all the vertices A B C one 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 more one more I want to do here um, suppose here I have another triangle let me give the name suppose this is P this is Q this is R then how I will represent yes I will represent again a small triangle I will make and then I'll write P Q R so there are three vertices P Q R or the you can say three corners P Q R so the triangle having the vertices P Q and R or the triangle having the corners P Q R this is the representation of the triangle right uh, I think you get a brief idea about the triangles in next video we'll be doing the classification of the triangles and many more will be talking more right so keep on watching all the videos you'll get the very good concept in geometry I'm sure you'll get the very good marks in your test also right so if there is any problem you can ask me you can comment in the videos and we'll be talking more all right bye bye